he gets to the cash register and he just he leans the rifle against the register and says thanks and walks away and I'm like wait this doesn't have a box or a case or anything and he goes nope and I go this is my rifle right here this rifle is such a beater it doesn't even have a case All right, what's up guys? Ryan here from Always Prepped. We didn't plan on doing a video today, but we got a sweet new toy for the channel. This is, uh, I got a new weapon, if you haven't figured it out already. Of course, we're at a new place. We haven't been here shooting yet on the channel. Figured a change of scenery was, was in order. And uh, this is definitely my new primary uh, survival tool right here. And I wanna talk a bit about this rifle before you look at it and say, oh my God, Ryan, that rifle looks like crap. I want to tell you about this rifle and why this rifle is actually pretty darn cool. So, got me an AR-15. I've been shopping for one for a while. And I went to the local store and uh, AR-15s here, they're not a huge market. So usually what you're going to find is used ones that are sold in consignment. So it's a, you know, it's a matter of finding the one for the right price. What we have here, I'll tell you what we have. This is a Bushmaster XM-15 E2S. But here's the thing, it looks nothing like a Bushmaster. The, um, I'll tell you guys why, well, why I got this rifle. So I go to the store and they had all kinds of fancy ones. They had several very fancy ones, which I could afford, but I wasn't necessarily into. I was looking for a good rifle. Here's what I was looking for, guys. And this, uh, everything that this rifle has, I was looking for a good, thick barrel, chambered in 5.56. Five, I was looking for free-floating handguards, I was looking for everything this rifle has right here. This rifle has a lot of great features. A lot of the rifles they have didn't have those features. Well, they had this Bushmaster up there on the rack, and I said, well, let me have a look at it. And as soon as they handed me this rifle here, let me show it to you how crappy it looks. You can see this looks very crappy. It does. As soon as they handed me this rifle, I looked at it, and I was like, okay. And I put it on the counter, and I said, let me see that, that other one. And I was actually looking at a different one. I wasn't going to buy this because it looks crappy. It looks like it's been through the ringer. It looks like it just came back from Iraq after getting run over by a Hummer, to be honest. But I'll tell you why I bought this. It's a cool story, guys. I put, so I put this down on the counter, and they hand me, I, I think it was an Anderson Arms AR-15. And uh, I told the guy, yeah, I think I'm going to get this one. I said, uh, this Bushmaster, it's too torn up. I don't want it. It just looks, and it was dirty. I'd opened it up. I'd, I'd checked out the uh, barrel and it was it's been used a lot so he he goes to the back he's he's getting the box for uh for the other ar and i was i was handling it at the time and i actually i went to i went to open the receiver and just check inside because it was used too and i couldn't it was so tight because it, it was one of those uh like a lot of brand new ones especially like I don't know, it seems to me like bargain ones are often, it seems like they're always the ones that are hard to open. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, I couldn't get it open. And then, so I'm looking at it. So I'm looking at its specs, right? I'm looking at it and it did have free floating hand guards. I like that. Lots of room here for whatever you want and lots of accuracy because you're not hanging onto the barrel itself, right? And then I look at the barrel and it's chambered in 5.56, but it says the twist was one to seven. Now I've never even heard of that. And I don't know if it's a bad thing or not, but if everyone in the world's making one to eight and one to nine and you're trying to be competitive, why? I don't know. Maybe there's a reason I don't know. So I saw that and I was like, well, that's kind of weird. And then I noticed the barrel. I had one of those thin pencil barrels. So I wasn't too happy about that either. And it didn't have a magazine in it, nor did it have iron sights. This one, this one actually came, came with flip up iron sights at least, right? And so he, he comes from the back with the box with the rifle or the box for the rifle and I was like, does this come with a, a magazine or sights or anything? And he's like, you know, wait, these are uh, these are Magpul embust sights. These cost about a hundred bucks, I think. He's like, well, we have these for about a hundred bucks. And I was I was still gonna go through with it and buy that rifle. But and then I was like, does it come with a magazine? He's like, no. So I was like, it doesn't even come with a, ma a used rifle. Doesn't come with a magazine. So then I picked this back up. This was still sitting on the counter. The ugly duckling of the group. No one was gonna buy this rifle. I almost kind of felt bad for it because I know that no one was going to buy this poor little brown rifle, which so someone hand painted a camo job on it, which I actually kind of dig to be honest, because every AR-15 you see is black. 
this one really stood out. Someone did a spray paint job on it, and hey, I'm down with that. So I picked this thing up. I popped it off. It pops right open because this has been around the block. I could probably get it with my gloves on. No, I can't. Okay, never mind that. <laughs> this thing pops right open. It's been used a lot. Then I started looking at the features. First thing I noticed, this does not look like a Bushmaster. Every Bushmaster I've seen looks just like an M4 carbine, you know, with the little, the little shorthand rails that, uh, I don't know what you call that stock. They have that different kind of stock. And um, this thing just looked totally different. They don't have free-floating handguards. They don't have these big beefy barrels. So I was looking at this thing, and I was like, man, what is up with this? And I've, I'm actually not sure, because I bought this used. For all I know, it's just a Bushmaster lower. Um, so anyway, so here's the features of my, my new rifle, guys. So, we, like I said, we got us, we got us a good barrel. 5.56 five, NATO, one to nine twist, nice and thick. We got hand guards to go all the way to the end and almost all the way to the end. They never touch the barrel at all. Yeah, you can wiggle the barrel in there. So you're never hanging on to that. That's really gonna help with your accuracy. One thing I really like is the charging handle. It's got a really nice charging handle. You can just, if you're firing, make sure I'm clear over here, I am. If you're firing, you can just rip it back with your left hand and uh, and uh, fire it. It's got a, uh, it's got all Magpul furniture. Uh, the iron sights, pistol grip, the butt stock is also Magpul. And uh, back to the hand grips, they're not polymer like so many are these days. They did not spare, I don't know who made these. I'm not familiar with whoever made the, this, these hand grips. I will tell you these add a lot of heft to the weapon. This weapon weighs 7.8 pounds, that's unloaded. And I think that's pretty heavy for such a lightweight weapon, but that's because these hand guards are solid freaking metal and they're vented all the way up. They, these hand guards do not mess around and I really like that. It's not some polymer shit that's like um, attached to the barrel. I really like these guys. So we're gonna take a few shots with this. I'm out here with my friends, like we have been in the last few videos. And I actually have not fired this yet. Today's my first day uh, firing this. I have very, yeah, I'm not really good on accessories yet because I just got this yesterday. So we're still running the iron sights. I'm gonna get some optics for it. And uh, we're just running with a little tiny uh, magazine they sold us at the store. But you know, that's okay. I'll get some real equipment for this thing here soon. But I'm really eager to see how this guy shoots. Now I'm, uh, today we're, I'm shooting, well we have all kinds of different ammo. I'm shooting uh, Hornady 223 uh, 55 grain hollow points is what I'm shooting. Uh, and we got a little ramshackle target set up down there. We'll just see how this works. Again, this is just kind of an impromptu video. We didn't plan on doing anything today, but uh, I really wanted to fire my new rifle and see how it works. It feels so good. It really does, it feels so good. But one thing I will say, these handguards make this rifle super top heavy. Like it, it's a real chore to hold it at arm's length. I mean, not that you would fire an M4 like this, but yeah, it's really, <laughs> and um, that's possibly a drawback. If you're a person who likes lots of attachments, this thing can get real top heavy real fast. But uh, we're, we're going to see how this does. We also got my friends here with our usual armaments. Oh yeah, yeah, show the audience our beautiful target we set up down in the pit. Yeah, it's real professional. My cameraman Rob, he rigged that up in about five minutes for us to shoot at. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. This has some kind of custom trigger job too. This is not stock. This this has such a crisp, beautiful trigger. Sorry for my rifle pointing. All right, we're clear. As I figured, okay, I hadn't shot this yet. As I figured, now this is one thing. Now when I bought this rifle, it's obviously been used and worn a lot. That told me that the guy who owned this, let me lock this open so we just know that we're clear. That told me that I was pretty sure it was already gonna be sighted in when I got out here and it is. And uh, I didn't tell you guys the rest of the story. So I decided to buy this weapon instead of a newer one. And it had a magazine in it it had the iron sights on it and we go to, to, to the register, we go to the cash register. And this is a funny story. 
the guy uh, from the he he the guy at the gun counter he walks me up to the cash register with the rifle and he gets to the cash register and he just he leans the rifle against the register and says thanks and walks away and I'm like wait this doesn't have a box or a case or anything and he goes nope and I go this is my rifle right here this rifle is such a beater it doesn't even have a case so I got to walk all the way home carrying this down the street <laughs> but this is America so you can do that I mean what else was I gonna do you know shove it in my pants <laughs> we could try that but I don't think that'd be very good uh, range safety um, so we're, we won't be doing that uh, <laughs> all right well well, I, we're gonna fire this some more and fire some other weapons some more. I wanted to share you. I wanted to share that story with you guys because that's why I have this gun. All, I, it is ugly. I think it is ugly, but I love it. It's like a a person who owns an ugly dog. They don't think they're ugly. They think they're cute as hell. And that's that's how I feel about my new uh, Bushmaster. Again, I'm really not confident this is entirely a Bushmaster. I think it might just be the lower because if that's because if that's not the case, that means someone spent you know the money on a bargain ar and then spent twice that upgrading it that doesn't seem to make much sense to me but whatever the case this is a, a pretty good solid rifle we've got another magazine already loaded actually it's a tiny one again uh i'm still working on getting accessories for this guy yeah this this magazine is so tiny i have to dig it out all right let's fire a few more rounds see i, I guess i'll keep shooting at that uh that little yellow water bottle down there. See, that's why I like that. That's why I like that charging handle. You can just whack it back like it was a freaking AK or something. Damn, dude, this thing is sighted right on. This thing is sighted right on. Of course, we're not shooting very far. It's only like 20 yards, but hey. This rifle has great reset on the trigger. I'm gonna let my friend Mike fire this. You saw him in my last video. He's uh, he's the firearms guy to go to. single miss. Not a single miss. I love it, Ryan. I love it very much. Yeah, it shoots <laughs> fucking nice, isn't it, man? It is. It feels nice. It's got a great feel on the hand grips and on the pistol grip. Even it's I can hit something stock. with that target. Even I can hit something with that rifle. It's <laughs> a very beginner friendly. Absolutely. It's highly usable. And those sights are dead on. You're absolutely right. I was shooting at those rocks. You see the gray rock out there? Yeah, yeah, I saw those that. Three over there. Yeah. I didn't miss a single one on those. Yeah. Uh, Cause I'm usually a yeah. I'm out of practice, man. I'm a pretty bad shot. If I actually hit something with that rifle, oh man. Well, it's a good thing that 223 ammo is cheap. Like I said, it is chambered in 556, but we're just using 223 here on the range because well, why spend the extra money for less accuracy, right? Fair enough. So I'll run the five round one and then I'll run the 10 round one. I'll try to do a quick reload. That's another great thing I like about, this rifle is very well worn. As you guys saw, nearly, so I can stop yelling. This rifle is very well worn. Things I like about well worn rifles, they're easy, they're easy to field strip. And this thing doesn't just eject mags, it spits them. I should be able to, I should be able to easily and quickly reload this thing. All right, I'm not as much going for accuracy as I am just, well, this is all the rounds I can fire, so I just want to see how this rifle handles uh, Bushmaster XM15, however much of that is actually in this rifle. Uh, I'm going to check out where these handguards come from because I like them. They're big and they're heavy and they're metal, but I like them. All right, so we're going to do five rounds first, and then we're going to hit the 10 round as fast as I can. We're already locked open. All right. Uh, count me down. Five, four, three, 
two, one. And we're clear. Well, no malfunctions yet. Still no malfunctions. Woo! Smell that smell. I mean, she ain't smoking, but damn. Yeah, it's pretty good stuff. I miss firing an AR-15. I love these things, man. They just, oh, they have no recoil. They're so controllable. Even this thing at almost eight pounds, that's unloaded. But with, with a proper mag in it, it's gonna weigh over nine pounds. Uh, which is about the weight of when I served in the military we still used the big M16A2 you know with like a 20 inch barrel so and this weighs in about like that did and I think it's just because of these big thick middle handguards but even still at that weight it's so manageable and I think one reason is and this is one thing I like about this uh, hand grip it's just got the Picatinny rails on the top I can wrap my entire hand around it it's it's really thin like it's not even there it makes the whole rifle feel lightweight even though it's not we fired most of our ammo. I can't believe how fast we went through it. I'm going to have to seriously invest in some more uh, 223 and 556 ammo for this rifle. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I mentioned that. That was that was one qualification I wanted in a rifle. I wanted to make sure it could shoot 556 if I needed to. Uh, though we're just firing 223 here on the range. Uh, I'm going to go for some long range shots. There's a rock way down there. Uh, that's probably close to 100 yards. Uh, I don't know if I can hit that with iron sights, but I'm gonna find out. Uh, here we go, so we got 10 rounds. Weapon is clear. All right. Did I get, I think I got it. This thing is a really sensitive trigger. Guys, I know you can't feel it at home. This is like five or six pounds of uh, trigger pull, which is, I'm not an expert, but it, it, it's got like less pull than my Glock does. Sometimes it catches me off guard. Has less kick than my Glock too. <laughs> Eight out of ten, not bad. How many? How many did I get? Eight out of ten. I thought that, so. That I, I heard shot, that report. I think you didn't mean to pull the trigger. Yeah, there was there was one time I accidentally pulled it. It's a really snappy trigger, and yeah, there was one trigger pull I didn't actually mean to pull because uh, the massive recoil from the two two three caused me to pull it. That's my that's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. Uh, did it give you PTSD? Temporary PTSD. Temporary. I'll get over it. It's okay. I can't believe I hit that because I am a crappy shot But uh, through this channel uh, you guys helping me support the channel by watching the videos subscribing and things like that It's gonna help me get better because we're going out shooting more. We're shooting a lot right now I need to buy I think after this I'm gonna go buy another box of 223 because now I have now now I have no home defense Where's my home defense now? I just shot all my rounds. Oh, yeah, never mind. My home defense is right here. There we go, I forgot about that. I know, okay, that was just me being a dick. I know you didn't have your pro on, I was just being a dick, it's only nine mil. Uh, okay, so I have some home defense. But, uh, would you rather clear your house with a Glock 43, or would you rather clear your house with an AR-15? Yes, please. Yes, please. Mossberg 500 Tactical. Guys. <laughs> Or a Mossberg 500 Tactical. We have one of those two. We just want to have it with us today. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Ryan with Always Prep. That was Mike.
I don't think Rob was on camera, but that's okay. He's he's the behind the camera guy. We had a lot of fun with this rifle. We went through. We only had, we only came out here with 80 rounds, but we went through them in like less than 10 minutes because I was smoking a cigarette through like 90% of it. <laughs> but we each had our turn guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and like the video comment with anything that you feel necessary to comment uh on my franken rifle the ugliest ar-15 it's not ugly because of the way it's built it's ugly because if you guys can see what i see on camera someone did a god awful spray paint job of camo on it and they have fired the living crap out of it and it's worn off Plus, I cleaned it. I just bought it yesterday morning. I cleaned it before I came out to the range, and in cleaning it, I wiped off some of his cheap spray paint. And so now it's even uglier. But I'll tell you what, uh, it does what it's supposed to do. It goes bang. Yeah, she's a good gun. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later. All right, so one thing I always like to do, are you rolling? One thing I do always like to do when I get a new rifle, I forgot about this. I just fired my nine mil without warning ear protection. And by the way, that is a bad idea. I was just being a dick. But th that reminded me, there is one ceremony I always like to observe when I get a new rifle, whatever it is, I, and again, uh, this goes against any safety rules. I always like to fire any new rifle without ear pro. I feel like it bonds me with the rifle. But wait, he's about to fire a 338. Oh, he's not. Okay. Whew. Mike is over there off camera holding a 338. <laughs> All right. So this is my, uh, we only got like two rounds left, I think. Where are they at? Oh, there they are. So we got two rounds left here. This is my uh, my ceremony of bonding with my rifle. Not that uh, AR AR-15s really aren't that loud, guys. Like I know I should tell you not to do this and don't do this, but they're really not that loud. They're really not. All right. What the? Okay, from this side. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how she sounds. I've really bonded with this rifle I have. Ever since the moment I picked up this ugly duckling at the store, put it back on the counter, and then when I made that decision to pick it back up, we are bonded. All right, I'll so. I'll tell you now, guys, he's been carrying it around the house like it's a newborn child. Yeah, and that's, <laughs> that's unusual for me because I'm, we have a lot of guns in our house. Like, literally, there is pretty much no place in our house where you stand where there's not a gun within reach. We are very gun safety aware. But I have been carrying this thing around like a newborn baby for the past, well, since yesterday morning, because I love it so much. All right, so here we go. No ear pro. Let's see how she sounds. Let's go for that. Let's go for that rock again. I keep losing it. It's so tiny in my sights. Well, there's at least one hit for sure. I know. Two shots, two hits. Feel that ring. Oh man. Feel that ring. It's like uh, no pain, no gain, you know?